Hey everybody, I want to make a quick video showing how to uh, modify the textures of the bug here. Um, first thing, you do have these sub meshes here for all the things, so it's easy to turn those on and off in code and whatnot So for your game. Um, so the textures are all completely customizable. There's two texture uh, uh, materials that you'll be using. If you go into SBA Studios, uh, bomber bug right here and procedural materials you'll find them it's the bomber bug and the add-ons this is our latest version of our procedural materials the first thing you want to do in order to actually change these those won't do anything until you uh, click the enable texture modification button uh, and that activates all the changes on the main thing so we're gonna um, do this on the add-ons because you can see it here on the carapace and the legs and the pinchers and the horns more than you can see on the base side uh, but the concept is the same for both, so you just want to copy some of your um, your settings over. Uh, so for the base, this is the, the darker part here. Oh, Alright, there we go. So uh, this is the the base is this darker part, which you can make lighter, of course. Uh, so you can change the hue. You have the saturation a little bit. We should be able to start seeing some color. Each change does take a slight bit to update. Now, one thing I want to point out, since there's a great place to show it here, um, the, there is one difficulty with this character, and that's that the the colors are very um, they're not there's no separation like a, a, a in a leather jacket. There's bolts that are metal and leather that's leather, and there's nothing in between. But these is a very natural, realistic look, and so it it, it kind of blends together. So you get these artifacting right here that happen from time to time. I add this new thing down here called fuzziness. And so for the different parts, you can adjust um, it basically how much the different uh, area bleeds through. Um, so as, as you go forward, you, you might end up finding that um, moving these around helps get a more uh, pleasing look if, if you're getting, see right there we had a horn color. So bringing up that, it mutes the green a little bit, but it also helps hide that bit right there. So if you get into these issues where you've got lots of those and you don't like them, uh, just play with the fuzziness and see if you can achieve uh, something that's more appealing to you. Uh, then we let's skip to the leg color. And this is going to be the um, yellow parts right there, so let's change the hue. and bring, bring down the saturation a little bit all right uh, you can also up the contrast if you so choose and you'll notice it also is affecting the horns the pincers and the leg and that's because um, for these new ones oftentimes I'll include a match option so for the horn right now it's matching the leg color so any change you make on the leg color including custom materials is going to happen on the horn as well. If you don't want to do that, you can simply turn that off and then you can make the horn a completely different color. Um, there you go. And uh, uh, you'll notice the legs are also changing and that's likely because of the uh... Alright, so the horn fuzziness is now affecting the legs where we have the horn uh, fuzziness up, the legs get affected. But if we bring that horn color fuzziness down, the legs stop getting affected, but then we get this less smooth look right there. So in the end, um, this is slightly more difficult to work with than our other characters because of this. Um, but in order to get a very natural look uh, that looks like the character is very organic, um, we need to blur the lines between the colors. So it's going to take a little finagling to understand how that's working. But oftentimes, I think most often, uh, just simply matching the color of the leg is going to be uh, the most ideal situation. Um, uh, beyond that, and I'll, I'll let you play with the rest, you can change the flesh color, which is the fleshy bits down here, um, the wing color and all that. But I want to show you some of the uh, environmental stuff as well. Uh, ground dirt's one of the most popular things. Let's bring this up to a bright color so we can see it. 
If you bring up the height and make sure to click the enable the ground dirt. So you can see the height crawls up from the bottom. Uh, it would be affecting the rest. This is from the other material. So you'd want to make sure the, this uh, data matches the data on the other material. Uh, that way it gets a smooth transition up both sides. So bring that back to a dirt color. We can lower the contrast a little bit. And bring up the roughness. It shouldn't be set at zero. So it's more actual dirt. Go. Um, ceiling dirt is the same but from the top down. So you can have some more effects like that. Um, surface dirt is going to be uh, just from the inside out, so seams out. Let's make this uh, bright pink so we can really see what it's doing as we bring up the edge dirt. Bring it all the way up. There we go, so you can see it in the edges, uh, and also if we bring up the amount of surface dirt, that's a lot, bring down the edge dirt for now, bring down the surface dirt, there we go, so you can see how it really starts in the crevices here, and then bleeds out from that, so if we make that into a more dirt color, and we can bring up the roughness so it's less muddy, more dirt. So now you've got just a slightly dirty bug right there. I actually like a darker color for the dirt. There we go. So we can turn that off to see the difference. Back on. So it definitely makes it more um, like it's actually part of a, uh, a scene, maybe a swamp or something. Um, directional dirt is just like the ground dirt, but you can choose the direction. Uh, damage is going to uh, affect well, it will have an effect. It's it's not damage on like a, a shield or a piece of armor. Uh, bring up wear level. Let's see. Let's bring up the saturation a lot, so you can see. Actually, not so, let's bring up the lightness a lot. You can see where the damage occurs. Ah, it wasn't changing because I have this masked metal only set to one. That means only metal will be um, damaged. Since there's no metal here, I'd set that to zero. And there we go, so now we got damages. Um, if we bring the lightness down a little bit and the roughness up, and maybe the saturation up or down, I'll say down, that almost looks like the bug has been beat up a little bit. Uh, definitely on the shell here on the carapace, it's got some issues going on. The wings are getting a little uh, flustered. And you could also, if you want, change the shape of, of uh, the damage by changing the contrast level. High contrast, low contrast. Uh, you can also change the hue as well if you want to get more creative with the looks. There we go. So, uh, you can also try these other uh, options like fabric wearing. Um, you can add dust, which comes from the top down. It's a very light look. There you go. Um, you could add, you know, obviously this is meant for cloth, but if you do use it, it will have an effect. Um, whether or not the effect is a good thing or a bad thing, that's not for me to decide. That's for you to decide. But certainly, um, you can get some unique looks out of it. Same thing with the leather, leather weathering and metal weathering. You can add special effects uh, for uh, wire level, and, and wire level here could actually be used to make it a little slimy looking. Um, so now he's just very glossy, like he's covered in some sort of. Uh, goo and you could also change the color of the water. So now he's slimed. Um, I'm not going to use the water level. Uh, 
well, we do want, if we want to make it ice, then the water has to be up, so you could try that. Now, it's covered in an ice, and we can bring that water level down to make it less um, icy. So we'll bring that down. You add snow. A lot of snow. And a little bit of snow. And you could add moss as well. So, uh, there you go. So, there you go. Um, there's a lot you can do with these. Uh, the pre made textures I include don't have any environmental damage, no dirt or anything like that. So, I do highly suggest that you make your own. Um, it's certainly more, uh, more fun to make your own, I think. So, enjoy. Have a great day, guys.